How's everybody doing? are going to be caught in the traffic. There's exactly, there's absolutely no fucking way. And what pisses me off a lot is the way that people drive. There are certain driving styles for every car owner in the world, especially in this kind of I can't say anything about, this is Orange County, I guess. So LA County is where I come from. So that's where I know the driving styles. But Southern California in general, we all suck at driving, right? This is part of the course. The enemy doesn't care what we do as long as we have a pulse. That's really the only requirement. <laughs> In LA County, in Anaheim County, Orange County, whatever. So there are two different, it, you know, I'm actually from Florida. I've only lived in this area for like five years. I moved out here in 2017. And what surprises me the most is I made the, I made the trip here cross country. What surprises me the most is as I drove more west, the traffic and the driving styles just got progressively worse. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm glad you agree with me. Thank you. You're great. So, uh, yeah, so as I was driving out here, you saw the everybody get progressively worse at driving. And it's like, what? The first thing I noticed as an LA County resident right away was the laws of physics that apply to literally everybody else with a driver's license just don't apply to us here. I find that fascinating. I still find it fascinating. It's like when you are in traffic, and the, the rules of the road basically that apply to everybody else in the country are just near. Guidelines for us, really. They're suggestions. You know, am I approaching a red light and a traffic stop sign? Fuck it, I can go right through it anyway. It's merely a suggestion for you to just stop and slow down and look around. Am I sitting still in rush hour traffic? Fuck it, I'm going to speed up anyway because, again, the laws of physics do not apply to us. It's a very magical place. It's the place that Hollywood built, you know, so we can pretend. What harm could it possibly do? Idiot. So there, there are two different types of car owners that I've noticed. Oh, well, there's more than that, but I'm going to point out a couple specifically. I'm going to call out the Priuses, and I'm going to call out the Triple. The car's a little tiny bit bigger. When you are on a freeway, and you are in the left lane, you have to be going at least the speed limit, which I can assure you is not negative five miles per hour. Okay? I promise you, you have to be doing a little bit more than that so that traffic doesn't come to a standstill. You don't kill anybody. I mean, we all are populated, so maybe you'll be able to but even still. And then now I'm going to call out the truck drivers. This question specifically, how many people here own a truck? A really, really big truck. Okay. Let me just ask you this. Why? Why the fuck do you own such a big vehicle? What the fuck do you want to overcompensate for? I am on the that the bigger the truck, the smaller the penis. I am under the firm impression of that. Not that I need any physical evidence to the contrary. I don't. But the way you all act, the way you behave, the way you walk around with such arrogance, you're clearly trying to overcompensate for something. And any any public parking lot you go to, take a look around. They can't fit in because God forbid they have to fucking walk three feet from their car to the entrance of the store they're going into. Because hey, we're Americans. Exercise, that's a horrible thing, right? We're entitled. We feel like we can just take pills and magically lose weight. Is that So, so those are the types of people I've dealt with on the road so far. And people don't realize how much of themselves they wear on their sleeve. They really don't, whether it's through your driving habits, whether it's through your eating habits, whether it's just how you present yourself to the general public at large on a daily basis. You all don't realize how much you wear yourselves on your sleeve. And this is particularly true of dating. I know other people have talked about dating already. I'm going to talk about some of my dating experiences in LA County as well. Dating has always been difficult. Right? But the pandemic came along and made it that much more difficult. People are paranoid and afraid to meet in person now. Who are you? I don't know where you've been. Show me your pedigree. Show me your paper. But it is a hell and it's a hell of a hassle now to date. And I have been, oh, and you know, friends tell you when you're single, oh, you just have to go out more. You know? You have to go to bars, you have to go to clubs, you have to go to your best friend's house to sleep with his wife when he's at work. But that is a lot harder. It's a lot easier said than done. Okay, that's not easy. And again, like I said, the pandemic has just made it more difficult. And I have tried. I've been single for the last year. I know, shocker. And <laughs> uh, so I've been single for the last year. And I've been on every dating app and website.
website you could possibly think of. The point where just I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I've tried plenty of fish. I've tried some obscure app I didn't even know existed until I tried it called Mingle. Uh, various other dating and chat apps that I can't even think of the name of right now. And yes, I've had catfish experiences. I've had people try to scam me out of money, but luckily I actually have a brain and I realized what it was. Behind that photo is really some 50 year old dude that lives in the basement with his mom. <laughs> That would just be my luck. That would just be how that goes. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because in the dating world, you're essentially interviewing to fuck someone. <laughs> you think about it, and they always ask the same questions. What job do you do? What kind of hobbies do you have? What do you enjoy doing during your free time? I'd really love to not be having this fucking conversation right now. That's what I do during my free time. Can I just, can we just cut to the part where I fuck you, you tell me it was mediocre or best, and we both get to go home. Like, that would be really so, I'll just be, you know, cut and chase. That's why the you swipe left or you swipe right. Swiping right means I want you on my dick immediately. Swiping left means stay the fuck away from me, please. That's how that shit works. So, and then there's the children situation, right? I personally am not interested in children. I know somebody else was up here that said that earlier. And it's true, it's not because I don't think I'm gonna be a good father. It's just because, have you noticed the world we live in now? It's kind of a shithole, a little tiny bit. Pandemic didn't help it, the Trump presidency didn't help it, even though I know I'm in Orange County, I don't give a fuck when I say that shit anyway. And, yeah. so, I don't wanna be the one that grows old, dies, and leaves my child behind to deal with the problems of a generation that was too cheap and too ignorant to fix anything. That's, right. That's my biggest. Woo! So, fuck that shit, no children for me. And even if you get to a point where you're discussing the possibility of children with somebody, you have to find each other attractive. Okay? Communication, compatibility, those are all beautiful things. But if you don't find each other attractive, a physical tell that we find you attractive or not, that's either going to flatter you, disgust you, or make them punch you in the face. It's really a toss up. Go either way. <laughs> that's just my experience anyway. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, shit, sorry, I was my train of thought again. So I'm going to leave you with this. Eventually, beauty is a beautiful thing, right? But when you grow older, looks fade. Shit doesn't last forever. Women especially have things that as gravity controls them, maybe they can use as a jump rope. I don't know. Okay? <laughs> but as those looks fade, you have to ask yourself, are you the person you're with for the right reason? Because eventually, they're going to get older, they're going to become a liability to you. Have you ever watched an older couple walk by and think to yourself, Holy fuck, they stink? <laughs> or can you please fucking walk faster now? Oh. Well, that's your future, my friends. Thank you, that's my time. Jerry!